All right, we are live. Going to give it a few minutes and set up the game and then we'll get in. Hopefully my audio sounds better than it has before. I've got a new mic you may or may not have noticed. Just turning off my, right now it's repeating me in my ears and it's, it's confusing me. There we go. Okay, beautiful. Get the game launched. Uh oh. Okay. For a second, I thought my uh, my mod pack wasn't gonna open it. This is a lot louder than normal. Then I remember it at least. Skyrim 10th Anniversary Edition. Get my streamer juice going. I bet this sound is really nostalgic for a lot of people. This Continue. Continue from last save game. Oh goodness. Hold on, what did I do? Both of my screens have gone black. Uh, I'm gonna alt F4, hope I don't kill my screen. Don't kill, kill my stream. Sorry if I do, I'll be back in a moment. Okay. I. What did I do? Sorry about that, guys. Um, okay, let's close that. Let's try this again from the beginning. Yeah, I have no idea what happened there. Never had, uh... I mean, I've only played once. This is my second session ever in Skyrim. <laughs> At least in this save. Um, I guess I should clarify. I have played Skyrim before. Uh, but basically, within about 10 hours, I got a completely game-breaking glitch, and I just couldn't make any progress. And that kind of killed the experience for me. So, I'm trying again, this time all live, because I thought that would be fun. That'd be cool to have people who actually know what's going on to hang out with. So last time we played, uh, we... What did we do? We sort of learned a little bit about Dragonborns and our character. And then we followed the rebel guy. The brown coats, I think they were called. I've been told that that might not have been the absolute greatest choice in the world. But that's what we did. We followed the rebel guy at the very beginning. And they told us all about the Empire and how horrible it is. And now we we got sent on a mission to find a dragon stone, which has information about dragon burial sites, I believe it was. Uh, and the person, the mage guy, this is him. This is the guy who sent us on that mission. Uh, okay, I'll let him sleep, though. So he sent us on a mission to get a dragon stone. And... Uh, yeah, I'll just... I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. And... Oh, yeah. Magicka. Alright. Thanks, man. Uh, and we did that. <clears throat> and then after the mission, there was a dragon attack which seems to be an issue that's arising in this world. There was a dragon attack right at the very beginning. Uh, and then there was another dragon attack right after the mission. We slayed that guy, which was pretty cool. And then we were told, we were summoned. There was like a, lar a loud noise in the sky that told us we were to go to see the Greybeards. 
And so I think that's what we're doing right now, is we're trying to go to see the Greybeards. Uh, I gotta get outside, so... Jarl has appointed me to be your house, Carl. Oh. It's an honor to serve you. Okay, I'm a thing. What does Jarl that mean? Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the Hold. A hero. The title of Thane is an honor. A gift for your service. Guards will know to look the other way if you tell them who you are. Oh. So if I just say, hey, I'm a Thane, I can do whatever I want? As my Thane, I'm sworn to your service. I'll guard you and all you own with my life. Oh, I appreciate that. So, can... Can she for real die? Like, can I lose her in this game? Or will she just always kind of be with me and she'll die for a fight? I can, like... When I go to a city, she'll come back or something. Probably not that. She probably can definitely die. Can I tell her what to do? Can I, like, tell her not to fight if she is going to die? Because last time I got in a fight with a giant. And that fight, I think she would lose. <laughs> I would have lost if I didn't find a castle the giant didn't fit in. All right, let's see the map here. See if we can see where we're going now. Oh, can I? Oh, world map, okay. Oh no, I don't want that. How do I? I had to fight with this. No, remove it. Yeah, there we go. How do I move? Is that the only way? Oh, I just I just go to the edge, okay. Um. Oh my gosh, this is a, I knew it was a big game, but Oh my goodness, this is a big map. So where is my quest marker? Dragon's Reach. Current location, that's where I am. Okay, let me see if I go... What am I doing? What? Use of some commands. I don't want to use commands. I'm having so many problems today. Escape. Path. How do I? Okay, I have to Google this. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see. Uh, how to. How to. Get out of commands. Get out of commands. Skyrim. Uh, use the tilde key. Ah, got it. Got the tilde key. So I want to go skate. Speak to the graybeards. Am I tracking this? Yeah, I am tracking this. Yeah. Oh, and I gotta bring this claw. Where was Lucian? Lucian was... Overheard a group of bandits talking about the golden claw they've recently stolen. I found it. I did that. Okay, I'll remember where he is at some point. And it wants me to join the Stormcloak Rebellion, but we'll worry about that at a later time. So, right now, I guess we're just gonna, we got a quest marker, so we're gonna follow it, and is our, yeah, our girl Lydia's here. What's up, Lydia? Uh, if you're, if you've played this game before, you might notice that it hopefully looks a little bit better than it normally does. Uh, I've got about 28 mods that are basically all aesthetic mods been running just guards, to make it you are i don't know dragons. hopefully look such a thief. look as good as it can look you know that's sort of my goal minimum viable product as with everything in my streams <laughs> gotta love the baby streamer life you there we're looking Me. for someone in white run we'll pay good money for information oh huh. what are you looking for a foreigner in these lands, Redguard like us. She's likely not using her true name. 
We will pay for any information regarding her location. Hmm. We are not welcome here at White Run. So we will be in Rorik's stead if you learn anything. You're not welcome in White Run. Why aren't you welcome in it's White Run? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. So you want me to find that doesn't interest you. A Feel woman free to walk away. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. Hammerfell. A Red Guard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. Huh. Okay. She well, cannot hide from us forever. That does seem unlikely. You're you're looking pretty hard. You're like in a city you're not welcome in. You're talking to just totally random people you know nothing about. I'm a thane here, man. Does that affect you telling me that? You knew I was a thane? I don't know. Apparently I'm supposed to be able to tell people I'm a Thane and it'll it'll do good things for me. So we'll we'll test that at some point. At some point hopefully that will become a dialogue option for us to say, yo, I'm a Thane. Oh hey Astria. We uh we got a partner. Look, this is Lydia. She's she's gonna help us. Uh that's what that's what I know. Oh, also, you might notice you've got a little, uh, I don't know if you got a notification, you got a little sword by your name, because you're one of my mods now. Appreciate you. You have news of our quarry. Alright, no, uh, dude, you just told me you're looking for a woman. You didn't really tell me anything about her. So, I don't even know where to start. Okay, I still have a quest marker, still gonna follow that. Can I see on the map my quest marker now? No, I can't. Oh wait, here it is. Oh my gosh, guys, we gotta go a long way. Well, maybe, oh, maybe we can steal the horse again. Do you think, do you think there'll be no one around? Will it be the right time? Oh, hey, Kojo. What do you think, can we get away with stealing this horse again? We got a long way to go to get to these these gray folk. Lydia, don't, don't tell anyone. Onward. No one seems to have noticed. Pay 50 G to travel to Riften and then go from there. Well, I can't let them see me on their horse. <laughs> I've just stolen it. I guess if I get off, it'll wander home. But I think... No, I think I want to I want to experience the world. Because I've never really spent much time. So I think... Metery. I think I'm going to... Is it, okay, is it really dangerous? Like, if I try to travel on my own, am I just totally going to die? Or will I be kind of okay? It'll just take longer than it needs to. It's fine, just the marker is more straightforward from Riften. Okay, I think I'm going to attempt. I'm going to attempt to Riften. So you would say go to... Otherwise, I'll walk my horse up the side of the mountain. Where is Riften? Lower right. Oh, way over here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I knew this was a big game. But holy map, Batman. Riften's way over here. Can I go up and around the mountain? Surely. I can go through... Hiller, Hilgren's tomb. Got your mods working in 1.18.2 in Minecraft. Yeah, sweet. You've been playing a lot lately there, Astria?
I love... Oh, it's one of your favorite cities. Okay. I'll check it out at some point. I love that Lydia just keeps up. She's just like, oh yeah. Was playing 1.16, but one... Yeah, the new terrain, I'm really... I'm happy. I'm impressed. The only thing is, I think they need to just say screw it and let the terrain go all the way to the absolute build limit. Like, just say, oh, you can't build at the top of this mountain because it's so massive and impressive. And I think that would be a worthwhile change to that. Hmm. Keep up, Lydia. Can I get Lydia to get on this horse with me? Or can we steal Lydia a horse as well? That would be that would be helpful. <laughs> she'll she'll find her way. She'll be all right. We're off to see the wizards. I think they're wizards at least. Not that you're aware of, but you're sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure there's a mod for it too. There's a as far as I understand, there's a mod for absolute. What is this? For everything in this game. This looks fancy. Can I ride my... Huh. Well. That's cool. Bit of a... Oh, it's cold up here. It's snowy. Uh, someone made a Dwemer Mario Kart mod. Dwemer. What's a Dwemer? Also, how's my uh, mic sound? I got a new mic, if you didn't notice. I think it's pretty fancy. Uh, sounds good. Excellent. Does it sound better than it did, or is it just kind of the same? Extinct rate race that was super high tech. Yeah. Seems the same to you, Okojo. Okay, that's fine. As long as it's at least as good. I bought this I bought this mic on a total whim. It was just a really good deal on Facebook Marketplace, so I went, you know what? Hey! Hey! What do you want? Your you have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Did they catch me stealing the horse? I let it go. It's going home. I'm the Jarl Thane. Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize oh. it was you. We'll look the other way this time. Okay. Even the Jarl's influence has its limit. Okay. Be more careful. I will be more careful. Everything's all right. Oh yeah, it's great. Oh, am I really... I'm already at the low enough bounty. Oh, I see. If it was a bigger crime, I would not be able to do it. Oh, no. I forgot that carry weight is like a constant thing. I don't have any carry weight available. Iron helmet. None of this is even all that heavy, but like increases your stamina by 10. Oh, can I wear this? Okay, well that's good. Weapons. I'm carrying a lot of weapons, but I like all of my weapons. <laughs> I like to be able to pick which one. Axe of White Run. Oh, actually, hold on. Is this one-handed? Damage. Because my sword does 10. It is one hand. No, it's two-handed. So I'm better off just to use... 
I'm better off just to use my, uh, my Warhammer then, aren't I? Damage 18. Does 5 points of stamina damage. So it takes away some of the stamina from my enemy. Or does 8 more damage. Are all two-handed weapons the same speed? Like the same swing speed? Or is it different depending on like a hammer versus an axe versus a whatever else? Battle Axe of Cold. Oh wait, Battle Axe of Cold. You don't know? Okay. Is this one-handed? No, that's two-handed too. Hmm. Well. Health and stamina. Keep in mind, enchantments do run out. Enchantments... Oh, goodness. I know I shouldn't be surprised, but oh my gosh, this is complicated. Okay, let's do the Steel Warhammer for now. Let's equip it like that. Maybe we'll try to stop by that place that uh, Okojo was mentioning on the way. Let's look at our map. We gotta go. Or maybe we'll stop at Windhelm. Wait, we're trying to go here. Eh. Okay, we're actually traveling faster. Than we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna go every northeast. Apparently. Ooh. Bell Glow Keep. Windhelm is a hellhole. Oh, so don't go to Windhelm? What you're saying? What's going on over here? Hey, don't, don't, no, hey! Don't shoot them! I don't. Oh, Lydia. She got up. She got up. Ooh! Okay. Well, we did that now, so hopefully there's something good. Are you? You don't like me either? Okay, fine. We'll just kill you. Whoa, whoa, wow, oh yeah, got the cool, the cool kill, let's go get it, might be because you spent most of the time in the final battle of the Civil War, I see, so that's like gonna develop into mage robes, boots, and dagger, Last of cold. Well, I can't carry it. I'll just leave that. I don't think I'm super into magic stuffs. But, you know, maybe. Just about ran into that fire. Am I starting something major here in the middle when I'm not supposed to? Probably. Hmm. <laughs> Huh, okay. Well, let's grab my Warhammer out. 
just in case there's a person who doesn't like that we're here. Why did you stop hammering, whoever you are? Huh? Ah! Wow, they did a lot of damage. Uh, not much. Potion of water breathing. Spell tome healing. Okay, so if I go to my items, can I read that and like learn? Spell tome healing. You already know healing. Heals the caster 10 points per second. Oh. Candlelight. Oh. Magic. Restoration. Healing. Oh, that's super useful. Ah, Lydia! Get out of here. Jeez Louise. Um, just, just a sec, guys. I've got something weird happening on my other screen I want to try to fix. I'm having problems when I play this game specifically with, with my stream activity staying, staying at the top. I don't know. I don't know what to do about it. Don't know why. It doesn't seem like it does it with any other game. Alto line, wooden plate. There's got to be some good stuff in here. Lantern, cabbage, cast iron pot. Oh. Oh, hello. You look. Uh. You're gonna kill me! Don't kill me! Magic. Restoration. This. Alright. Cute. Get my Warhammer out. Let's go get this other guy. Where'd he go? Hey. Hey, you. Doors of Oblivion. Doors of Oblivion by Safe Hider. Oh, okay, like that. When thou enterest into Oblivion, Oblivion enterest into thee. The greatest mage who ever lived was Master Morian Zenus, who you may have heard of him as the author of the book on Oblivion, the standard text for all matters daydrip, despite many en entreaties over the years. He refused to update his classic book with new discoveries and theories because he found that the more one delves into these realms, the less certain one is. He did not want to conjecture. He wanted facts. For decades before and after the publication on Oblivion, Zenas, Zenas, I think it's Zenas, compiled a vast personal library on the subject of Oblivion. The home of Daedra, he divided his time between this research and personal magical growth on the assumption that should he succeeding in finding a way to the dangerous world beyond and behind ours, he would need much power and wander dark paths. Twelve years before Xanus began his journey, he had prepared his life to make, make me, to make, make B, make, make B hired me. He had prepared his life to make. Oh, the journey he had prepared his life, all his life to make. He hired me as his assistant, I see. I possessed three attributes he required for the position. I was young and eager to help without question. I could read any book once and memorize its contents. And despite my youth, I was already a master of conjuration. Xanas was too a master of conjuration, indeed a master of all known un and unknown schools. He did not want to rely on his ability alone 
In the most perilous of his research, in an underground vault, he summoned Daedra to interview them on their native land. And for that, he needed another conjurer to make certain they came. To make certain they came, were bound and were sent away again without incident. I will never forget that vault, not for its look, which it was plain and unadorned, but for what you couldn't see. There were scents that lingered long after the summoned creatures had left, flowers and sulfur, sex and decay, power and madness. They haunt me still to this very day. Conjuration for the layman. Unacquainted with its workings connects the caster's mind with that of the summoned. It's a tenuous link meant only to lure, hold, and dismiss. In the hands of a master, it can be much stronger. The physics, psychics, physics, and Dwemer. Oh, the Dwemer, you talked about those already. In the Dwemer's case, perhaps I should say, could connect with the minds of others and converse miles apart, a skill that is sometimes called telepathy. Over the course of my employment, Zenas and I developed such a link between one another, it was accidental, a result of two powerful conjurers working closely together. We decided it would be invaluable should, should he succeed in traveling to oblivion, since the denizens of that land could be touched by the skills of an amateur conjurer. It was possible we could continue to communicate while he was there, so I could record his discoveries. The doors to oblivion views of Mori and Zena's phrase are not easily found and we exhausted many possibilities before we found one where we held the key. The Thujiks of Archeum have a place they call the Dreaming Cave where it's said they can enter into the Daedric realms and return to Lachesis, Sothasil, Namatig, and many others have been recording, recorded as using this means, but despite many entreaties the or to the Order, we were denied its use. Celerus, the leader of the order, has told us that it has been sealed off for safety of all. We had hopes of using the ruins of the battle spire to access the oblivion. The weird gate still stands, though the old proving grounds of the Imperial Battle Mages itself was shattered some years ago. In Yegar Thorn's time, sadly after an exhaustive search through Daedris, we had to conclude when it was destroyed all access to the realms beyond the soul cairn the shade the perilous and the havoc wellhead had been broken <clears throat> it was probably for good but it was frustrated our goal the reader may have heard of other doors and may be assured we attempted to find them all some are pure legend or at any rate not traceable based on the information left behind there are references in lore to marcus's abyss carrington mirror the mantling crux, the crossroads, the mouth, and the riddle of an alchemical formula called Jacinth, Hyacinth, and the rising sun, and many other places and objects that were said to be doors, but we could not find. Some exist, but cannot be entered safely. The whirlpool and the Abacanchian, called Maelstrom and Baal, can make ships disappear and maybe a portal into oblivion, but the trauma of riding its waters would surely slay any who tried. Likewise, we did not consider it worth the risk to leap the pillar of thrass, a thousand foot tall spiral of coral, though we witnessed the sacrifices of Slodes may be there. Slodes? Don't think I've read a single book in Skyrim, just watched a video or the, someone that read them all and summarized. I think I've seen that same video before. But it was a long time ago, and I didn't know anything about Skyrim, so it wasn't really <laughs> wasn't really useful. But it was an entertaining video. Uh, though we witnessed the sacrifices of Slodes there, some victims were killed by the fall, but some indeed seemed to vanish before being dashed on the rocks. Since the Slode did not seem certain why some were taken and some died, we did not favor the odds of the plunge. The simplest and most maddeningly complex way to go to oblivion was simply to cease to be here.